question is often asked that doctor what are nerve conduction studies how are they done and what information do we get from them so as the name itself tells you nerve conduction studies or nerve conduction tests is to measure the conduction along the nerve fiber so nerves are exactly something like a electrical fibers or electrical wires or cables <clears> that <throat> they have a outer lining and then they have inner small multiple types of fibers and of course each nerve varies what kind of fibers it carries but some of these fibers carry sensation for touch pain temperature some are fibers which are controlling the muscles for your movement and some carry fibers such as the local sweating etc so when <clears throat> they are all enclosed in the sheath we know that there are certain uh, normative values that we have that how fast should the nerve conduct the impulse what should be the response that we get and that is what we broadly mean when we say nerve conduction studies so we have a few major nerves in the arms and in the legs which are tested commonly but in addition to these we have some additional nerves which we test depending upon the patient's problems so just to show you how it is done so these are the what are called as sensors or electrodes and you can see that they are very tiny very small they are placed along or the uh, on the area or the spot on the muscle which the nerve supplies so thus if it is on you know, you wanting to test your arm muscle you will press on your thumb if you want to press an check another nerve you press on the palm of your hand but on the other side and that's how these are placed so the technician or there has to be adequate technical knowledge that which nerve am i testing where should i place them and the sites vary and this is what is called as a stimulator which gives the current in a very few micro um, amperes and for a very few seconds as a millisecond and again these are placed at multiple spots on the body parts so as to stimulate this so that's how the nerve test is done and the information which we get helps us to determine that is this normal or abnormal it can also tell us about the type of involvement but it does not tell us about the cause for which we need to investigate further any preparation yes usually you can just wear some loose comfortable clothing you can have your meals we do not need you fasting and for any regular medication it can be continued unless specifically told by the doctor that to avoid this prior to the test so this i do hope these are some simple questions which are often asked that what are nerve conduction studies how are they done what information is obtained and how do i prepare myself it's a painless test but it can be a little discomfort and it usually the duration of the test can vary from 30 minutes to 1 hour depending upon the nerves that are tested it can be done in children it can be done in the elderly and of course um, it requires technical skill and our job is to make the patients comfortable thanking you and i do hope this has been helpful